All right, so tell me about how you saved um, state recognized tribes, um, you know, that, which allowed them to stay into the uh, housing program, Indian housing. Well, <clears throat> the important thing I think that we need to emphasize is that LRDA uh, did a great thing in working with the state legislature uh, and getting the North Carolina Indian Housing Authority established under state law and giving up the individual tribal sovereignty to the state of North Carolina. In 1980, when I opened the Chicago HUD Office uh, of Native American Programs, uh, the North Carolina Indian Housing Authority was viewed by the HUD staff in central office that it was a public housing authority, uh, not an Indian housing authority. In uh, two th eight in 1981, I think it was, uh, I was uh, asked to attend a meeting in central office in Washington, D.C. Uh, Charlie Rose, the congressman, had called for that meeting uh, because the North Carolina Indian Housing Authority uh, had some uh, nine million dollars uh, that had been uh, allocated for Indian housing but they had not moved the funds forward so in the meeting uh, Tom Sherman who was the uh, assistant secretary for public and Indian housing authority uh, started the meeting by st stating that we view uh, meaning HUD views the North Carolina Indian Housing Authority as a public housing authority like the Pembroke Housing Authority. Mm -hmm. After uh, a lot of discussions and so forth, and uh, I challenged Tom that the tribes, the four tribes that make up the North Carolina Indian Housing Authority one, they delegated some of their sovereignty to the state with the understanding that they were going to create a consortium housing authority that was going to be an Indian housing authority. Who were the four tribes? For the four tribes. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tom challenged me that, well, you're going to have to prove it. And I told him, uh, I'm certainly, we will. And so in returning back to my office in Chicago, I met with my attorney and we came up with a plan that we thought was sufficient to um, make sure that HUD would review and approve the uh, uh, North Carolina Indian Housing Authority as an Indian Housing Authority. I submitted this uh, proposal to Tom Sherman. I waited uh, almost two months and then I received a letter back from uh, Tom Sherman stating that uh, you proved the case. Uh, you can now classify the North Carolina Indian Housing Authority as an Indian Housing Authority. The good thing about that is that as the programs changed, we were able to be grandfathered under all new legislation and so forth. Had we not taken that action where we had uh, uh, gotten the classification we would not be eligible to receive the funding that we receive now. Yeah. Who were you working with at the LRDA at the time to push that through? With LRDA? Who, was, who were you working with there? We, uh, we, the Commission of Indian Affairs, which was uh, managed by Bruce Jones, mm -hmm. uh, uh, also uh, Ken Maynard and James Harden, um, Rob, uh, Locklear uh, and a 
number of folks uh, on the uh, LRDA board. That's great. Awesome.